can tell your boyfriend, boyfriend. if he says he's got beef that I'm a vegetarian and I ain't f***ing scared of him. Alright uh, guys, it's Noah with Illusion YGO. Who do we got and what'd you play? I'm Larry Musgrove. I got third at the Louisville Regionals with Selen the Great. Okay, let's see your list. Alright. Uh, triple Foxy. Um, just degenerate card. Not kidding, it's not degenerate. It's just like the best like starter and extender in the deck. Well, not the best, but you know what I mean. Triple spinning. This might be training wheels, but I played triple flame buffalo, so it kind of makes up for it. Uh, triple gazelle. Nothing to be said here. Uh, one, one, one. Uh, I want to play two foul because this card's just kind of nuts, actually. It just lets you go into your toolbox of your extra deck, your two card toolbox, but you know, it's just nice. Uh, three phantasme. Um, standard. Standard. If you don't have this, don't play this deck. Um, Triple Ash, standard. Don't talk about my Ultra Veiler, please, but three effect failures. We're talking about it. Don't talk about it. Um, two Reclusia. So, like, it's cool, like, because a lot of people like DD Crow or Shark Cannon, and, like, if they hit Spinning, it's like you still have combo with Gazelle, and it pops back, like, Floodgates that are kind of annoying, and outside of that, like, this, this is a good card. I never signed it out. Like, there's no reason to. It's just a nice card. And then my favorite card in the deck, like literally, like I want to open this as much as possible. It literally lets you play through more cards than you should be able to usually. A chain blockable pot of greed is very nice. Yeah, chain blockable pot of greed, like. And it gets spinny out of your hand or foxy out of your hand that you're both playing three of. So. Yeah. So like this card's just really nice, and I don't know. Like I'm very happy I played three. It just felt correct. The, the reasoning for not playing the three debug in that spot was because debug loses to so many hand traps. Yeah, it just loses to everything, especially and, Widow Anchor. And on top of that, having three Buffalo allows you to facilitate three Foxy and three Spinny, which also ups your consistency of opening Salomon Great Combo. Yeah, and then I played one debug. The one time I actually did, I cited it every round today, in all nine rounds. But the one time I did something, I, I searched Flame Buffalo. Just, huh. Yeah, I forgot Ironic. to mention that. Our first take of this video. Um, two Soul Charge. Two Soul Charge. This is like my favorite spell in the deck. It just, it's an extender. It, it's Soul Charge, like we said. Um, you can protect it with Balanx. Like, it just is overall just a fantastic card. And then a card I draw a little too much, the Garnet. Gotta play it. You ha Well, you have to. Yeah. Um, triple Circle. Um, don't ash this. Shout out to Justin. Fusion of Fire. Um, yeah. Uh, cheese card. Super Poly. I just like it's, it has a good interaction against Eagle Booster. Actually, doesn't matter if they get the ray. If you have the call by the greatest game anyway, um, it's just nice. And then triple call by. No explanation. And then two roar. Um, you can if you if you draw this hard. Um, with your gazelle, you could change the line of play. Like you could send raid, or you could actually just send spinny and be fine. And it's just it's cool when you open it. Uh, then rage, uh, it's necessary evil. Like it's good against all the rogue. It's just, it's just I don't know. It's like necessary. Also, with the roar, it also facilitates you. If you resolve a circle, you can also set roar and circle. Yeah, that, that's that's another thing that's really kind of nice. You don't have to worry about banishing it. Um, the card that didn't really come up, I'm probably not playing it. I'm probably playing it through the third. Panker Tops. Paro, this card is not really needed. Um, the two Panker Tops. Two Anti Spell and an Imperial Order. Um, striker just sucks, so you just play cards to make sure they are just sat down. Like They don't need to play anyway. Too evenly match. Um, when I when I side against decks that I side these against, I never have enough cards to side out. I know that sounds kind of weird, but like, like I test kind of a lot, and it just never gets to the point where I need to. So I just side two, and it's just it's completely fine. Uh, the second fusion of fire from the mirror. Um, I respect the mirror a lot, so why not play like the best card for it? Uh, then I played the Artifact Engine, uh, 3 Sanctum and 1 Scythe, um, really good against like 
like you can thunder you can slide this in like without like any like hash to it because like they don't play hand traps so like, you could just like wait for them to like generate like a few monsters and just summon this and like you could just end their turn and then you could like send rage on your next turn and just pretty much blow them out um and then two ghost ogre and snow rabbit a lot of people have been maining this and i feel like it's not really necessary like Sure, like you can hit like a multi roll or in the mirror if they still played the bug, which they shouldn't be. Um, you can hit the bug. There's not really a good moment to go stoker in the mirror. So, I don't know. I, I just respect the mirror enough to not like main deck take that card. But it's really good against multi roll, which is our worst enemy, even though that deck sucks. Yeah. Under the extra? Oh yeah, the extra deck. I can't forget that. My bad, people. Alright, so... Shout out for Noah with these sleeves. They're hot. Um, triple Sunlight Wolf. Uh, Heart and Soul of the deck. Uh, triple Balanx. You know, I actually am going to just speed through the extra deck because there's only one card that really matters. It's like the flex spot. So two Heat Leo. Uh, Mirage Stelio. If you play two of these, you're just wrong. Well, I guess that could technically be your 15th spot, but like it's that's like that's, that's like the 10th like option. That, yeah, that's like F tier. <laughs> yeah, it's F tier for sure. And then Nightmare Phoenix. Um, this comes up actually quite a bit now that a lot of people are playing Striker. Like make it under Sunlight. They don't like mess with it. You draw, and it's a fire, so it lets you make um, Heatleo, and it's just. Fantastic. Uh, Borlood. I didn't summon it this this event, but you just have to have it. Like, it's just there. The interaction with Borlood and Baguska is just so nice. Yes, that too. Uh, Dweller and then Hita. Okay, and then my my flex spot is Baguska. I value this card the most out of all of them. But if I, I, my top three would be uh, Baguska, Ningarasu, and then Tornado Dragon in that order. Like, just depends on the decks that like you fear the most when you are hello I'm not kidding. <laughs> when you're building your deck for the event. Um, I have shout outs. Shout out the Julie for letting me do this deck profile for her channel. Shout out to Noah and Ryan Mooney for going to this regionals with me. You wanna say anything, Mooney? Just yay. Yay. Alright, just yay. Jokingly. <laughs> Jokingly. Jokingly. <laughs> oh, good. Alright, say it again then. Yeah. There we go, Trev. Okay. Alright, um, Justin Singh, like, I'm happy to have him back in the game. He's like my, like, my rival and, like, maybe a new testing partner. Shout out to this purple deck box. No, I'm kidding. Man's favorite color. Man's favorite color, yep. Um, Other than that? Plus One Gaming, that's my locals back in Cincinnati, Ohio. Um, Shout out to my mom being very supportive and calling my teddy bear gay. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I think that'll wrap up this uh, profile. Thank you guys for watching, and catch you guys next time. Peace.